two ways to define the flow. First is using process labels to define the transport links and the process steps simultaneously. Second, defining the transport links and the process step separately. Let's see the example. Here you have a complete layout. To define the flow, we go to the process tab and open the process flow editor. The process sequence of the simulation is the feeder will transfer the product to the process node 1 via conveyor. Then the mobile robots will transfer the product to the process node 4. So to add the process sequence to the process flow editor, select on the feeder process label, then it will automatically add to the process steps. Move your mouse to the next process node that you want to connect, so click on the process node 1 label. Lastly, enable the mobile robot transport controller and select on the process node 4 label. Run your simulation to see if it works. And yes, it works. Next is the example for the second option. Use the same layout, but this time, instead of clicking the process label, click the transport node and move the mouse to another node. So click on the node that you want to connect. To add them to the process tabs, click on the plus icon at the end of the row and search for the process following the sequence. First is the feeder process, then the process node 1, and lastly the process node 4. The final sequence will be the same as before. Now, run your simulation again. Let's say that you added new processors to your existing project and the process occurs at the middle. Then you can use the second option to add the process to the process steps. For example, this is your new layout. You have two new process nodes here. Delete the previous transport link first. Then click on the process node to the next process node. From process node 1 to process node 2, then process node 3 and lastly process node 4. You see the three dots here in the process steps? Click on any space below it and choose Add Steps here. Select the new process node. And this is your final process sequence. Now, run your simulation. And here we go. That is all for this video. Thank you for listening and bye-bye.